food travelers this is our very first episode it's really really exciting yeah super exciting super excited to see how you guys feel about it we hope you enjoy the content and i'm simon and i'm micah micah you would agree we had a blast making this first episode oh yeah definitely you know we're really excited to bring you more things if you're interested in our videos you can also follow us on instagram for more pictures and behind the scenes on our stories don't forget to hit subscribe to continue to follow us and like our video so for this very first inaugural episode kind of a local travel yeah we went to uh, whippy island uh, we went to have breakfast, and what was the name of that place, Micah? It's called Little Red Hand Bakery. It's in uh, Coopville. And are they known for anything specifically? What I had was uh, pretty special. It was a stuffed hash brown with bacon, onion, and cheddar. The lady was really nice there. They told me it was not available, but then they ended up making it and giving it to me for free. Yeah, they were super nice. And what I also remembered was they were very good at remembering names. Oh yeah, definitely. They, I remember they calling out every single customer's name and coming out with all our orders and giving it straight to the name that they called. We, we found a spot right outside the restaurant. Um, it was right around the corner. We had a really nice scenic view of the ocean. Um, it was nice, a little bit breezy, a little bit sunny, but we found a couple benches so we could sit on and also put all our food on as well. Yeah, for this very first episode, the weather was awesome. Yeah, it was very sunny, really hot. It turned out the forecast was completely wrong. Typical Seattle. So for breakfast, I ended up ordering a Philly sandwich and an iced mocha. And I ordered the uh, Mufaleta is the name of the sandwich. Mufaleta? Yeah, Mufaleta. I also got the iced mocha. And then like I said before, I also got the stuffed hash brown for free. And that stuffed hash brown was so good. It was so crispy on the outside. Um, just the amount of bacon and cheddar on the inside. That was the highlight for the breakfast for, uh, for me at least. So after breakfast, we decided to take a little walk and, you know, burn off some of those calories we just ate. And we stumbled upon this little shop that sold lavender goods. It was only about a block and a half. Um, we went to this place called the Lavender Wind. They're known for lavender. And what I wanted there was ice cream. And we actually didn't plan to stop there, but after we walked by and saw the place we decided let's go find something to eat uh what i basically wanted was ice cream i wanted dessert most pla most lavender farms uh restaurants and stores they always have lavender bakery baked goods uh ice cream and lavender ice cream is the best yeah, and I, I really want like uh, lavender everything, lavender honey, honey lavender ice cream, but this place didn't have honey lavender ice cream, but uh, what they did have was uh, lavender coconut, lavender tri triple berry, um, and these bars were made by Whippy Ice Cream. If you guys like lavender, comment below and let us know what are your favorite lavender foods. So we ended up getting two ice cream bars. I had the triple berry. And I had the coconut. After we got our fill with the ice cream bars, we decided we needed some more coffee for the day. So we headed across the bay and went to another coffee shop. And this coffee shop is uh, with the Whippy Coffee. They have multiple locations on the island. They're uh, known for their signature uh, blended mocha. Which we did order. And it was amazing. I would definitely recommend anyone on the visiting Whippy Island to stop by here and getting that uh, signature blended mocha. Just remember to give it a good stir so that you have everything blended together and get a good sip of it so you can feel the, fr the freeze in your head. It was a, it was a nice Nice drink for a hot day. And to finish the day off, we went and had dinner. This place we only have a photograph since, as you can see, it's a little bit unassuming. And so we actually didn't get a walk up shot of it. And this restaurant is called the Oyster Catcher. The first course per se or appetizers we ordered was the oysters two ways um, they actually provided us with a palate cleanser to begin with which was a radish and butter i believe it was crunchy a full dozen 
and the oysters that we ordered uh, were two ways, like Simon said. Uh, the first one was a bacon jam and hazelnut butter, and the other half of the dozen was fresh oysters. Yeah, it was served with a red wine mignonette. The oysters were fantastic, and as you can see in the video, we just cleared them out. Oh yeah, definitely. We finished those really, really fast. It was so good. It was so yummy. I highly recommend it. Yeah, they were fresh oysters. They were prepared very well. Flavors were spot on. That was really good. I enjoyed that a lot. Me too. I think that was one of the highlights. And right after the oysters, we had a berry lime sorbet. It was so refreshing. What do you think, Simon? Yeah, I was really surprised with this. It was complimentary from the restaurant since it was a palate cleanser, but it really packed a lot of flavor. Oh, and also I forgot to mention, it did have a kick of spiciness. I remember there was a bit of pepper on top and I did notice there was a hint of salt in there to bring out the flavors. Yeah, it was really good. Um, um, the flavors, it, it, it really literally just bursts when I when I took a bite of it. Then we came upon the entree portion. Where we both ordered the same thing, we had a pan-seared duck breast with new potato confit, green bean salad, blackberry duck juice with flowers, and wow, was it pretty. Yeah, the presentation, it was, it was very beautiful. Um, as you can see, we did a, a flyover shot to kind of showcase their preparation and their presentation. And just a little backstory, Mike and I, we tend to order similar things. I think that's why we became such good food friends. Yeah, definitely. We always order the same thing. So in the video, you may see a lot of similarities, except for our drinks. We always order different drinks. Yeah, our, our taste buds are pretty similar. So in this shot of the piece of duck breast, I wanted to showcase the crispy skin that I really, really enjoyed. And here, hopefully you'll get a take a look and see, you can actually see how crispy that skin is. So crispy. I was really happy that they used the locally sourced blackberries. It brought a nice tartness that contrasts with the savory sweet of the duck. I thought that was very well balanced together. Yeah, it was so flavorful, it was so pretty to look at as well. Just looking at it made me smile. One of the interesting points I think about the dish was that in addition to having the duck breast itself, they actually had some shredded duck meat that was kind of blended and I don't want to say blended, but was incorporated with the vegetables and the fruit and the flowers. Yeah, and that, that part was a really good uh, addition that you don't normally see in this type of uh, duck confit or duck uh, breast dish. Oh yeah, and the flavors of the duck was really good. It was so juicy and tender. And as you can see, the food was extremely delicious and we cleared this out as well. We certainly did. And of course, to finish off any meal, we had dessert. Yes, and for dessert, I think we got the same thing. Uh, we, I tasted lemon poppy seed. What do you taste, Simon? To me, I tasted a little hint of lavender and I don't know if I was tasting it incorrectly or maybe it was from the lavender from earlier that day, but that's how it seems like to me. And also to make a note here, um, every time they serve the sorbet, a palate cleanser or the, the, the ice cream, uh, it was served in a chilled bowl. So it kept everything really cold. Uh, yeah, that was really a, a nice little touch that they had for, for these little in-between little delights.
for this trip, there are actually, we came up with four notable dishes that we really enjoyed. And they were... The first one was the crispy skin duck. And the second one is the bacon hazelnut butter oysters. Third dish we really enjoyed was the palate cleanser sorbet. And the last one on here is the hash browns, the stuffed bacon hash browns. Wow, highly recommended if you're in Whippy Island. And if you're curious about a little more details on our notable choices, uh, take a look at the description box below and you can see a little bit more about what they are. Well, we really hope you guys enjoyed this very first episode. Don't forget to uh, follow us on Instagram for more pictures. And if you like the content that you've seen, don't forget to like and subscribe. We'd love to have you come eat with us. And we'll see you in the next episode. Bye guys.